Okay, let's take you back to Mobile Mazala. We've re-established the connection, Mobile, um, for you to pick up your conversation with the health MEC in Limpopo. Yes, to do. We are in conversation with the health MEC, and she was just highlighting to us, of course, the process that's currently taking place in the background with regards to the DNA and the specimen. Could you please kindly explain to us? Uh, what, what we can indicate is that uh, out of the, if I'm not mistaken, now it's 41 body bags carrying the remains. We have been as early as Friday uh, with the assistant of the family and the pastors from the church positively identified six of those. Now, the process means we're still waiting for the uh, families of, remember we said there were those that are identifiable to come and go through the process of positive identification. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, the whole day, our team was doing radiology studies of all the remains. Radiology studies, by that I mean doing x-raying them, those which need Lodox machine will, were done. Why do we do that process? The other day you were asking, we are having 34 <coughs> body bags, but we are told 40, uh, uh, 45 uh, people perished. And I've indicated and explained that the situation here is that uh, sometimes when you are involved in this type of an accident, you sustain different injuries, a damage of the body could be as a result of when the, the bus uh, collided and, and, and damage you physically where you can even be amputated your limbs and bodies can be clubbed together. You find two individuals clubbed together and when the second uh, damage to your body happens, which was as a result of the heat when the bus caught fire, you then are bent together. So you'll find in one body bag, like which, with our radiology study yesterday, in one body bag we were able to pick up two hip uh, joints, a, a, a hip bones which shows uh, from the same, uh, these are different individuals. We, we found, you, you'll find that you've got three femurs in one. So there's no individual with three femur bones. So it means these are two individuals here. So, so th that is the exercise we were trying to do. It also assisted because there's one where we could retrieve a, a bullet uh, within. So it means there's a family who knows that one of their loved ones was once uh, sustained a gunshot wound, so the bu bullet was lodged. So by that, it's also part of that uh, body identification which, which assists utilizing the radiology uh, studies. So that work has been completed. Uh, today we ask uh, the team to, f to be busy with logistical. Uh, lo by logistics, I mean we, 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 we know this is going to be a very tough week for us. This is a very uh, strenuous exercise. We, we must that, and also the weekend on its own, because of its busyness. We've got other uh, people who have died in different uh, districts who also will re be requiring postmortems. So we are doing that analysis to say which district is heavily burdened, which is not, so that we can take staff from other areas where they are not busy. As early as Tuesday, they must all report in Mukopani Hospital. If your mortuary forensic is not busy, you will be diverted to report to Mukopani Hospital so that by Tuesday, because autopsies must be done in all these, whether you are identifiable or not, autopsies might be done. For those who are identifiable, we are just going to do the normal autopsy to find out what is the cause. If you were ruptured, your liver, head injury, all those things, which needs to be done. But for, the, for those that are charred, the charred bodies, we will also be dissecting and looking at the specimen to be sent. What we must also appreciate is that Botswana government, uh, the laboratory services, uh, in, in, in consultation with Dr. Mama Shela here and General Muraudzi National Subs, they've already uh, started the process that side of sampling the, the DNA from the families on the other side. So it means towards the week after they've done their own analysis, they will join our technical team here and together with us, and then uh, the DNA will be uh, conducted because we know the pain that the, the Botswana, Botswana people are going through. They want answers. Uh, so yeah. so that the, the sooner we work together and support them, uh, the, the better for everybody.
MEC, when can we expect families then to start arriving in South Africa or that interaction where they would be going to the hospital? Look, the, the, the families as early as Friday, they have already arrived. That's why we were able to successfully positively identify uh, the six. We are expecting them to, to continue to arrive. Now, we have cut their trip in terms of them coming and we cut DNA samples on them, collect them, because, as I've said, working with the Botswana government, they are uh, technicians, they are laboratory, they are, their pathologists have already collected samples on the, those families. So that part, they won't need to come for it. They will come at a later stage when we have already uh, done. So what is good with us is that they know what we are doing and, and we continuously uh, communicate with the embassy through DECO, uh, with the high commissioner through DECO. We, we, we are doing that and, and, and we believe that uh, there the, the won't be any need for them to come uh, today. I'm talking about those with uh, the, the, the bodies that have been charged, not, not exactly now, but at a late, later stage. Mm. And, and just lastly, MEC, you did highlight this in your briefing, and you were speaking about the fact that there would be things like road accident fund that needs to be also taken care of. Can you perhaps give us an idea in that, in terms of what is the process now? I think if you have, you have, you have listened, one of the first person to, to arrive on the scene was the Minister of Transport, and, and, and you have also had... RAF has already issued the statement to explain how they are also working with their counterpart on the other side. So be rest assured, uh, Minister Chikunga and, and, and RAF are dealing with that matter, and, and you will hear uh, whatever needs assistance, uh, they are, they are at, uh, attending to it. But also you must also appreciate, as we have indicated, this multidisciplinary team of different sister departments uh, we, we are already communicating virtual in terms of our officials, uh, regular updates, regular meetings, because it, 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 it won't be one department involved. Uh, as a health, we have got also a, a role to play, but, uh, but from the beginning, you, you understand when an accident happened, <clears throat> the first people who are supposed to arrive on the scene is the EMS uh, emergency to pick up whoever has survived because that's what we need to do. And then, then police must be there. Uh, EMS, if they declared anyone that they have died, police must first secure and, and release the body after they would have done all their, 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 their taking pictures. And then our uh, uh, forensic will come in and take them. So when it's now involving another government, now that's when you find we, we need a support of DECO. You need home affairs to be in. You need border management authority. You, you need, you know, it's no longer health, police and transport. Like when it's, a, it's an accident that happens involving South Africans, usually these three departments, which is transport, health, and the South African police services, are the ones who are there. But this time around, it will involve quite a number of those. And, and like I said to you, uh, on that rough they, 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 are, they, are, they are attending to it. All right. And can we then say that the, 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 the scene is now cleared? I wouldn't say exactly it's, it's completely cleared because as of yesterday, you know, when we receive the, the, the body bags of remains, like when we're doing the radiology studies, there is that communication with the police to say we've been able to can account our target is to get to that 45. So as long as we haven't reached that 45, we, we are not going to say uh, the, 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 it, it has been completed. Uh, the, and the 45 can only be uh, reached and, uh, after all the, the, the radiology studies, the DNA, everything has been done. So for now, police can still go on site. And they are the ones who will tell us that uh, they, they are done now. Uh, the scene is now cleared. Uh, for now, uh, we must give all of them a space. They can still go. Uh, remember, the investigations will go on uh, from the police side, which we all know, and, and it's them that will be able to guide us on that. Right now, allow us to focus on making sure that 
positive identification it's done dna samplings are done the child gets recovered and the people of Botswana received the remains of their loved ones and give them a befitting send-off. Thank you very much, MEC. Um, well, due to a lot of information coming there from the MEC, but the process is still clear, still underway. We were there on site yesterday. It was quiet, but like she says, the scene is still very much active. But on the background, um, the DNA process taking place between the Department of Health here in Limpopo as well as um, in Botswana as well with that communication that's currently taking place. We are getting a confirmation as well that the parents are here and that they are with the child and the child is in good um, spirit. Um, of course we will keep a watchful eye in terms of what happens going forward but according to the MEC this is going to be a long and thorough process. Thank you very much for that update.